like to come up to think of the legacy of Mr. Alfonso Taylor Jr. You may come at this time, amen. amen. We all have two steps. We have a life and we have a legacy, amen. amen. After God has allowed us to do what we need to do on this earth, the next thing we'll be able to do is thank God for the spirit of the person, amen. amen. So if you may come at this time for those who wish to and just thank God for what he has done and ask God to give you the strength to make it through each second of your life, amen. amen. God bless you. As the administration of uh, Brother Banks is coming, you may come at this time as they prepare for the celebration, amen. amen. God bless you. have a celebration uh, program with you and I want to make sure that I have the names uh, right. I think we have the prayer and a solo from uh, Sister Carol. Is that uh, Econo? Did I say that right? All right. After that we'll have, have the obituary and acknowledgments and a poem by is that, uh, is that Okima Bassett? Okima? That's why I wanted to get it together before time. Amen. <laughs> Amen. But I got to ask a question. How many believers do I got in the house here? All right, because you know you didn't wake yourself up, right? Amen. You know you didn't put your own food on your table, right? Amen. You know you didn't make your own clothes, right? Somebody say, Jesus. Jesus. Give God another hand clap of praise, God. Amen. I come by to let you know that these type of celebrations oh. are for the living. Amen. Amen. And I want to let you know that if there's anybody that's perfect in here right now, you're in the wrong place. Because only Jesus is the only one that makes no mistakes, amen? amen? Because the Bible says all have sinned and come short, amen? amen? And I tell people all the time, I don't care if you go to church 52 weeks in a year, that don't mean you're going to heaven. Amen. You can carry a Bible, you can have a cross in your teeth, but you can still be busting hell wide open. Amen? Amen. How many of you know a Jesus that you don't deserve what you got, but he gave it to you anyhow? Amen. Amen. Look at your neighbor and say, you ain't no better than me. Amen. Now, if you're scared of that neighbor, you've got enough room to move, baby. Amen. We're going to move on with this celebration services, and I come by just to let you know that Jesus makes the difference yes. in our lives. Do I got a witness there? Yes. I'm going to begin with an Old and New Testament uh, reading, amen? 
I'm going to have to step to the side on some of this because y'all, I'm from the South and I'm not used to mics. I know how to holler. Amen. 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 Reading, beginning with an Old Testament reading. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He maketh me. Somebody say me. me. Lie down in green pastures, y'all. He leadeth me beside the still water. He restored my soul. How many of y'all know if it hadn't been for Jesus? Yeah. You would have messed up a long, we stayed messed up a long time ago, ain't that? There's some folk that got the opportunity to recognize Jesus. They tore up from the floor and ain't got no sense to call on Jesus. But how many folk in here will pick you up? He'll turn you around. Now, y'all, this is a celebration now, y'all. Amen. I just come to uh, eulogize one person, not everybody. Amen. Somebody got to be left around to call on Jesus. Amen. Amen. It say, leading me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, do I walk through the valley? Somebody already know this. In the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff that comfort me. Now let me tell you what that means. How many of you have gone in a different direction if Jesus hadn't turned you around? Amen. You would have still been going down the wrong way. Amen. Somebody say glory. Thou prepare the table before me in the presence of my enemy. How many you know enemies come in all type of ways? And don't fool yourself. You can have enemies in your own family. Amen. Sometimes you get uh, you get along better with strangers than your own family, amen. amen. But how many know God know how to make it right? Hallelujah. Thou knowing in my head with the oil, my cup right. runneth over. Somebody say, surely. surely. Somebody say, surely. surely. Goodness and mercy shall follow me all oh. the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. Amen. The New Testament scriptures. I want to let you know that when you have celebrations like this, now let you, I want to let you know some of us, and we know it's hard, but God is a good God. He gives you peace in the midst of a storm. Yes, I got some witness there, y'all. Yes, Philippians chapter 4. Verse 7, and it reads, And the peace of God, which passeth all understanding, shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. We all know we have a mind. We all know we got a heart. You got to be careful who you listen to. I don't know about you. But some folk, if they ain't got nothing to complain about, they have nothing to talk about. When Moses passed away, he groomed Joshua. They wanted to have a pity party for 21 days. God spoke to Joshua. He said, somebody got to get up. Somebody got to say, to God be the glory. Somebody's got to say it's going to be all right. Somebody got to say weeping may endure for a night. Now I'm trying to preach y'all because I ain't getting it yet. But joy comes in the morning. Look at your neighbor said, it might be dim right now. But stick with Jesus. It's going to be all right. Give my God a hand. Have a praise y'all. At this time, we're going to ask for the prayer and a solo from Sister Carol. Did I say, you said, Picano? Amen. Let's give her a clap of praise as she's coming, y'all. Well, she didn't have to do this now, y'all. Amen. So y'all clapping the floor one more time. Amen. Oh, my mama. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Oh, 
Jesus. We thank you. Thank you, Lord, for the years that we shared with Alfonso Taylor, my nephew. Lord, we thank you for your goodness and your mercy. That's in every morning. We thank you. We thank you for all you've done down through the years you've showed them good to us. Yeah. Heavenly Father, we're asking you to touch each and every one here. Cover them with your blood. Yes. Let them know, Lord, let them know that there's a heaven again and a hell to church. Yes. To work while it's day. Because you are still standing at the door knocking. And whosoever will open, you will come in and set. Heavenly Father, we ask you to the answer. Touch them, Lord. Touch each and every one of us and show us our shortcomings. Let us be ready when you come. Yeah. We all have a date with destiny. Yes, Jesus. We all have a appointed time. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Lord, we're asking you, let us be ready. Yes. When you come, Amen. save the unsaved and keep the saved. Say, yes. Lord, yes. we're asking and believing. Let us all examine ourselves and see where we're coming up short that we'll be ready when Jesus comes. Amen. Oh, we thank you for our father's life, for Junior. That's what we call it. Thank you for his life, Lord. Lord, you know there are times in our lives. That people don't know how to get out what they're in. But you can communicate it and you let them out. Hallelujah. We look at death as an enemy. But sometimes death is a friend. Yes, Lord. If we're ready to go back with it, we're just going home. Uh -huh. Thank you, Jesus. You're good. Not some of the time, but all the time. Bless the family of Alfonso Taylor. Mend us all back together. Keep us in your hand. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. Amen. One of these mornings. Let it walk out below. You're gonna look for me, and I'll be gone. I'm going to a place where there'll be nothing to do but just walk around. Walk around heaven all day. I spent one of these mornings, and it won't be long. You're gonna look for me, and I'll be gone. I'm going to a place where there be nothing to do but just walk around, walk around heaven oh, all day. When I get to heaven, I'm gonna sing a child. There won't be nobody to ever turn me out. I'm gonna sing with the angels and testify and I'm gonna walk around. Oh, on day.
we want to thank Sister Connell for what she has done. I felt the spirit of what she was doing. Amen. 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 And I believe she deserves another hand. Amen. At this time, we do have acknowledge obituary acknowledgement of poem coming from Sister Bassett. And we also have um, a resolution from the mayor, Sheldon Neely. Mm -hmm. And it's all up here for Sister Bassett. Let us say amen as she comes. Amen. Now, you all, I'm not going to mess with you right now, but I know if we can uh, get loud like that for a game or a barbecue. Uh, or you know, the of I know we can get loud like that for a Hello, friends and family. Today, I will start with the obituary. We are celebrating the life of my cousin and your family member, Alfonso Taylor Jr. Flop was born on June 11, 1960 in Welch, West Virginia, to Alfonso Taylor Sr. and the late Vera Louise Taylor. He departed this life on May 23, 2020 at his residence. Alfonso was known for his sense of humor. He loved being around family and friends, cooking and matching his suits and hats, good music and clothes. He graduated from Chicago High School, went on to serve in the Army, got his degree in nursing, and worked many years in the healthcare industry. He also obtained a cert certification in ordained ministry. Alfonso leads to cherish his memory, Father Alfonso Taylor Sr., Ella Taylor, his children Andrew Randolph, Shantia, Derek Turner, Alfonso Taylor III, Shannon George Rain, Stephen Robinson, Calvin Taylor, Danielle Taylor, and a host of grandchildren. And if any names were missed, please forgive us. Um, brother Albert Natalia Taylor, three sisters, Gear Taylor, Diane Taylor, Teresa Brandon Taylor, Stepbrothers Quincy Yancey, Frank Yancey, Mark and Matthew Yancey, stepsisters Melissa Destry Owens, Tanya Yancey, nephews Albert Taylor Jr., Mario Taylor, Deontay Taylor, Darius Brandon, Samuel Brandon, Rashad Brandon, nieces Matika Pierce Taylor, Toya Taylor, Christine Taylor, Patrice Brandon, Jocelyn Brandon, Brandon, uncles Kelly Grisby from West Virginia, Robert Shirley Wooding from West Virginia, aunts Maddie Wooding from Frank from Franklin, Tennessee, Annie Wooding from Flint, Michigan, Brenda Wooding Matt from Monroe, Ohio, Mayansi Clark, uh, Middletown, Ohio, Carol Bacuno from West Virginia, Gertie Wooding from Germany, a host of cousins relatives and friends, including special cousins, Timothy Johnson and Lena Brown. Special friends, Sarah Carrington, Taylor, John Stinger. Alfonso was preceded in death by grandparents, Ernestine George Wooding, Loretta Sam Taylor, mother, Bill Taylor, sister, Sherelle Taylor, uncles, Matthew Brown Lowe, George Wooding, aunt, Susie Seymour, grandson Stephen Robinson Jr. <clears throat> These are the acknowledgments. Is there acknowledgments on this one? This is all. So this is the poem? Okay. The acknowledgments. The family would like to extend their gratitude to each and every one that helped in these trying times. Also, thanks to the Handy Family and Shelton T. Banks chapter. Um, and then the poem is called Brother. You gave no one a last farewell, yeah. nor ever said goodbye. You were gone before we knew it, and only God knows why. A million times we will miss you. A million times we will cry. If love alone could have saved you, you never would have died. In life, we loved you dearly. In death, we still, we love you still. In our hearts, you hold a place. 
no one else will feel. It broke our hearts to lose you, but you didn't go alone. For part of us went with you the day God took you home. We will meet you again someday. I know in a better place. I thank God he made you our brother while you were here on this earth. God bless you all. I would like to make mention of the resolutions and where they come from, if you don't mind. Amen. Amen. This first resolution is dated June 12th, 2020, to the family of Mr. Alfonso Sr. and Ella Taylor, a resolution in honor of their son, Mr. Alfonso Taylor Jr. And this is prayerfully submitted by the entire family housing commission, Geraldine Redmond, president. Amen. Amen. We do have other uh, condolence, word of truth, church of God in Christ to the family of Mr. Alfonso Taylor Jr. And they're expressing their deepest and sincere sympathy in the time of bereavement. And this is uh, prayerfully and humbly submitted by pastor and members, Word of Truth Church of God in Christ, Beckley, West Virginia, Reverend Sandra Ramey Jackson, pastor. Amen. Amen. And this is the, from the Pendleton Community Bank. And this is condolences for Mr. Alfonso Taylor Jr. And this is representative from the Work Truth Church of God in Christ, Vicki Warren, secretary, mm -hmm. and to the, uh, was given to the Sheldon Banks Funeral Chapel. Amen? Amen. Amen. Last but not least, we do have from Mayor Sheldon A. Neely, resolution of condolence. On behalf of the resident of the city of Flint, Michigan, be it resolved that I, Mayor Sheldon A. Neely expressed my profound regret upon learning of the passing of Mr. Alfonso Taylor, Jr. To all bereaved families, friends, and loved ones, I offer my sincere and heartfelt sympathy, Sheldon A. Neely, Mayor, City of Flint. Amen. Let's give God a hand clap. Let us say amen again. Amen. amen. I just feel like one more time giving God a hand clap of praise. I want to say on behalf of St. Paul Baptist Church on 2115 West Coldwater Road, some of you might know where it's located. Okay. We come by to let you know that everything we do, if you're saved, is your represent Jesus Christ. Amen. And as long as you're in the flesh, if you make a mistake, don't hesitate to call on Jesus because we'll only give you another chance. Look at your neighbor say, he sure will. Now I know the city folk might say, he sure will, but I'm from the South, I'm from Missouri. He sure will, amen. Don't only make a difference in your life. Then yeah, come on, give him another hand, God bless you. If you decide to stop by to see us, please feel free to do so. My name might be, my name might be on the marquee, but it's God's house. Amen. I'm only done to shepherd. We're only here for a season. But whatever we do for Christ, we'll last. Amen, somebody? I tell people all the time when you come by the church, we won't hold you long, but I'll give you a key. You can lease. You can close it back up because I don't know what you got to talk to God about. But I do know this too will pass. Amen, somebody? Somebody came by the church the other day. They said, Pastor Pettigrew, I'm high as a kite. Can I come in your church? You look so beautiful. I said, I don't care if you drunk with a 40 ounce or a cig of weed. I'm not your God. Amen. Amen. I don't know what driven you to that. Amen. But when God talks to you, if you don't do what the Lord say, because how many you know, man, we'll let you down. Okay. Psalm 118, verse 8. Uh, you better read it sometime. Because God will talk you in the midnight hour. Yes, early in the morning. In noon day. Psalm 118, verse 8 said, don't put your confidence in man. But you got to put it in God, amen? Because God tells you in the Bible, the only unforgivable sin is blasphemy. When you get to the point when you feel God can't do nothing for you, you might as well say, 
I'm going to check myself into hell. Right. <laughs> Somebody ain't going to talk to me, y'all. I want to make sure I tell you the truth. So next time you see this five foot four bald head guy, you say, I don't know his name. But I will tell you that he said something about Jesus. And you should always keep yourself in positions to let somebody know you ain't no better than them. Because we all are sinners saved by grace. Amen. And if there's anybody that's perfect right now, you better tell God he left you out because he's the only one that's perfect right now. But I can't tell you he is preparing a better place for us because I don't want to live in Flint all my life. Amen, somebody? Now, at this time, at this time, we have another portion of the program and it's called Remarks. I tell everybody, and I have to tell you this because we are brothers and sisters in Christ. You can't tell it all. Amen, somebody? If you didn't say it, why you it? <laughs> they say if you can't say a word, just raise your hand. If you didn't say it, why you living? <laughs> I don't think we brought much today, amen, somebody. So this is how we're going to do this, y'all. This is how we're going to do this. We're going to ask for two to three family and friends um, to come up and just let us know you're a family or a friend. You know, I know maybe somebody might have their doctorate, but we don't want a thesis. Right. Amen, somebody. So we'd like for you to come up. With, and now, 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 we do know, we do know. Now, now, as of yesterday, if I read this correctly, he just turned 60. Did yeah. I say that right? Yeah. Okay, I am spiritually nosy, so I do read that. Amen. So I will let you know that um, God has been good to you. Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't know the logistics of how and what place, but I do know when God get ready, you got to move. That's right. That's right. That's right. There's two things I let young people know, and then the ones that I don't call them old, I call them the senior people. That there's two things you can't predict. And every lady in here that have had children, the doctor have told you when your child is going to be born. But sometimes those days are off, they're sooner, they're later. And the doctor just gave his estimation. But God gives life. And God take it away. I'm from a large family. A lot of things that happened to him, I thought they would have been gone. They still walking around here. So let us not blame God. Nobody ain't got no business being mad at God. If you don't want to stop your blessings. Come on, talk to God. Now, I do want to let you know those that have loved ones in here. I am not trying to belittle anything, but I gotta let you know that God is still good. A good God is not gonna let you walk around every day being sad because someone is ill. That's right, that's right. He don't want to, he said, set your light on the hill. And I've never seen a dull light trying to shine, shine bright, y'all. Amen. At this time, we have some family members and friends who want to come up to give their remarks. Please come at this time. Let us say amen. amen. Let us say man is come. Amen. I know if we all are coming, we all still practice in the social distancing. Amen. Amen. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. I just want to share uh, when we were little. Oh, let's say we was uh, four or five. Four or five or six. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And Junior is a girl. She was a book. She chased us home, but you know why they say, uh, stay in your ground. Ooh. And that's the first time my brother stood his ground. And uh, so he had a plan. And the girl, she, she, she told me to open the door. She told my brother to get with the water. And then he laid that. Well, my brother stood his ground. And uh, that's my, one of my most cherished moments I will always have of, of Junior. We're still here. Yeah. With God's shoulder. Yes. And at the end, it's flesh and blood, just like that. Amen. I love everybody know he was a character. He could have been missed. He could have got up there with Kevin Hart and the rest of them. Amen. Amen. So for the wonderful the shows that he put on when he came in his presence. <laughs> you know? 
Amen. And sometimes I think people came around just because they were feeling bad and sick. <laughs> but when you left, you were feeling all right because he had you even laughing at yourself. Amen. Now, see, that takes talent to do that. That was a gift. And I'm not going to stay up here long because you can't tell it all. <laughs> but I just wanted to share that because that was one of my favorite memories of my brother. To you and to tell you, you know, to I had that day I went on my son's house and I was over there and I was like, I'm going home. I'm, you know, I'm going home. Some told me, uh uh. Some said, go to June. Go to the June house. You know, and when you have you know, to say to tell you something, you need to listen sometime. And I listened. I took that car around. Now I went over to my brother. I went to my brother's house. In June, June. We know it's yeah, June, June. <laughs> so, so, so it was like when I went over there, we had a conversation, you know, the next day. After I left. Yeah, I, 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 me and Jerome talked about some things sometimes, and we talked, and I used to always tell him, I said, bro, I said, you need to, just, you know, as far as getting things right, you know, on some things, you know, start a kid and do different things, and Jerome, every time I reached out to him, I always wanted to make sure that when I went over there, and that day he did, he talked to his son, him and the phone go ahead and go talk, and at the end of the day, at the end of the day, June with June, and Jokey Joe. <laughs> June always came on that Jokey Joe stuff. And then, that <laughs> Jokey Joe, so they had a good conversation, and he did the Jokey Joe. And when I was out, I was like, oh, it's always told me in the sense that, hmm, this is Jokey Joe, and I'm sort of, I don't know. I don't know. I just had, uh, 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 I don't know. Uh, uh, a feeling of something, and it was like to to do that, and then it come right back, and you know, within forty hours, then I'm getting a call, a call, okay, okay, okay. my brother in here, oh my God, that is that is something nobody knows. Oh my God, nobody will, nobody will hear that. But to see him, my brother, to see him, you know, June was our June. June was not perfect. You know, we're not perfect. Not, and not we, you know, trying to try to do right. Yeah, yeah, but I'm trying to sit up here not me and my brother talk. We had talks. And to see that, and to see my brother that day, oh my God. I'm just like, mm.
you know, you're not going to be ever forgetting it. Ever. And I love you. I love you, me and my cousin, we go way back. Uh, as far as I can remember, I remember my cousin, and I remember us just running around. Uh, we were probably pretty rough, and I guess we were a terror to my cousin Albert. Because we kept on doing everything we were picking up. And some were good, some things were good, and some was bad, but uh, we were together. And, and the best thing that ever happened to me is I always call my uncle or my aunt, and I say, how's my cousin Junior doing? And um, they'll say, well, I saw him the other day or something. I say, tell my cousin to call me. I say, it don't matter where we are in this world or something. We were just thick as thieves, and we were, what they say, we were just like, we were just like brothers. We were just, what they say, cousins, we were brothers. You seen one, you almost all the time, you seen the other one. And I miss my cousin, and over the years, I mean, years have passed, we were out, we had the opportunity to come up here, and we was coming up for my uncle's birthday, and uh, God has a way of working things out. I was able to see my cousin, I was able to talk to him. And to let him know, I didn't think I was better than him, and I didn't think he was better than me. I knew that. I let him know that I loved him from the bottom of my heart. Yeah. And I know he loved me from, from the bottom of his heart. Amen. And it was, it, was a, it was a blessing. And God has a way of working out. Like I said, God has a way of working out things. Who would have thought that that would have been the last time? But who would have thought that we all came together in unity as a family? Yeah. And um, Junior, all I can say is rest in peace. I have a, a song, just a short one. I'd like to just sing a little, little of it. And it, 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 it touches my heart and it, it may, means everything to me. And I think it would be appropriate at this time. I'm free. Praise the Lord. I'm free. No longer bound. No more chains holding me. My soul is resting. It's just a blessing. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm free. Thank you. Praise God. I just want to say, um, my cousin Junior, that's my brother, and you know, um, we were, we all grew, like you said, grew up together. And I praise God. Every time I was around Junior, I know, like you said, he always cracked a joke. I mean, got you in stitches. But he, I mean, I, he got this one particular one, and I'm not going to even prolong it. But to my brother, no, he was in a fight one time, and my, oh, my, cousin, my, cousin, my cousin, my cousin had to come over there, and he picked that person up and slung him across. I never forget, I was a little girl. And I just looked like, oh, that's Superman. Like, Superman <laughs> took it to Hollywood. I know if I ever have an issue with who to call. <laughs> but I just want to thank and praise God for the memories with him. Because we've had, oh, I love my family. I love my family. And they're my first cousin. So, you know, we were very close when we lived here in Michigan. And I thank and praise God over the years that there's going to always be something left in our hearts. Yeah. It's going to be left in our hearts. Because, you know, God, you know, life is but a vapor. And, you know, and, and how do we live our dash? God sees that. God sees the big picture. He knows the plans he has for us. So we just have to get in line with it. And I remember one time he was in West Virginia. He was sitting over there. He was messed up. He was kind of messed up at the time. But he was sitting behind a cold stove, you know, in the area of West Virginia. And uh, God started dealing with him. I remember he was going from cursing to a preacher. I was like, well, this, that man was messed up. But he, he came, and but he knew the word. Because that word is in you. And when it's in there, it's going to come out. I don't care what's going on. So anyway, but my dad was my cousin. We've had some good, bad, and <laughs> ugly times, but uh, praise God. Here, they go your two dollars you want. He always got <laughs> <laughs> Praise the Lord. I 
I am Junior's neighbor. I, I'm going to say I am because he's always going to be with us. I live around the corner with my husband on Piper Street. So my husband, Earl Jameson, I married into the family. So my husband's been knowing the family for a long time. But I got to know Junior as um, I was living there. I can depend on mm, about 8 o'clock in the morning, 8.30. Junior gonna be walking by my window. <laughs> we'll be saying, though, hey, Junior, how you doing? Or if it's snowing, the first snow. Now, we got a snowstorm coming. The first snow that's coming, you know, that light one that comes first, Junior's gonna be at our door. You wanna, want me to shovel the snow? Sometimes we would say yes. Sometimes my husband would say no because we knew more snow was coming. Uh -huh. But he would always stop to make sure that our snow was shoveled. Yeah. Yeah. Or if you needed anything, you come by to get that two dollars. <laughs> but the last, the day before, Junior, uh, God took Junior away from us. He had just walked by me and talked to me about my flowers. He said, "What you got going on over there?" I said, oh, "I'm trying to grow some flowers over here." He said, "Okay, well, I hope they do all right for you." And I said, yeah, "I'm praying on them. So pray about my flowers, and I'm gonna pray about them." So he said, "Okay." So the next day when my husband and I got the call. I was on my trip on my treadmill and I'm, I'm like, honey, who's that? And he or who it was and I said, What's going on? And he said, I said, No. Mm -mm. I just talked to Junior yesterday morning. So I turned my treadmill off, got off, went down the street to my other neighbor, and all of us know each other. Went to my other neighbor. I said, What's going on? So I was like, Okay. But you know what I've learned over life is that God don't make no mistakes. No matter how we feel about it, he got something better for Junior. We just have to learn how to accept it. It's hard because it's still hard. Because I'm still looking for him to go across my window. But God don't make no mistakes. And if we got our life right, we'll see him again. We will see you again. Rest up. The murder. Uh, so ironic that you brought up that point about the two dollars. <laughs> Actually, that's what I'm gonna end on. Uh, but um, yeah, I can't believe. Uh, 30 years, it came and gone. I met June back in 1990. Uh, Albert, I don't know if you remember, uh, but if you don't, uh, I'll recall it to your memory. You came over and got me. I wanted to see him, even though know, he had just came in from Chicago. And at that time, he was with your dad down in the basement. And remember you taking me over there and walked down the basement steps. And when I seen him, for the first time, just one look, I said, man, that's a little brown skin daddy right there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, only difference was just a little brown than that he was. Um, wow. Um, again, the things that people are saying about him, uh, his character, sense of humor. Uh, I'm going to go out a little bit more and just say, in being real, he was a wild guy. <laughs> and when I say wild, I'm saying wild in a sense of humor, crazy type of man. Uh -huh. um, he was funny. I'm telling you, it was days, seriously, when I might have been going through some things, didn't feel like being bothered, didn't feel like no laughing. But when that guy come around, I'm telling you, and I'm the type of person can't just anybody just make me laugh, you know. But that guy had a way of making me laugh when I didn't even feel like laughing. And you know what? It just seemed like he would know times probably when I felt that way. Because he would keep on, keep on, keep on until I start laughing. You know? Um, but for the record, uh, 
make no mistake about it. I didn't see June a whole lot, especially over the last couple of years. Maybe I think the last time I seen him was uh, at my uh, niece open house. Um, but I love him telling you from my heart, he knew it and I knew it too. Um, he was more to me than just a brother-in-law. He Amen. was like a brother to me. Amen. You know, that's how I embraced him. Um, love deep. Um, two things, and I'm out. Um, that stood out to me about him, and it's humorous. Um, remember, Junior was working out in Holly at the nursing home. Junior just worked 16 hours. I go out, drive on in Holly, pick him up, bring him back to the house. Um, and again, I'm just gonna keep it real because we know how Junior could be. I had a feeling he was going to ask me to stop off at that store. <laughs> Early in the morning. I didn't want to. Uh, <laughs> bro, you think you can stop by the store and, and give me a half a plan? <laughs> I said, oh, it's 7 o'clock in the morning. I picked him up and said, I said, why don't you want some oatmeal, some egg, some something? I said, no, I'm good on that. <laughs> he said, I'll pay you back on payday. I didn't want to. It's a grown man. Okay, you're going to pay me back on payday. You're going to get it for me. So anyway, Alfred, you can attest to this because you was in the basement for many days. Uh, we used to go at it in the weight room. All of us pushing each other. And, you know, it got competitive down there. So anyway, um, Anybody know what the clean and jerk is? Albert, I know you know yeah. what it is. Huh? Yeah. Bring it on up. Yeah. Yes, sir. So it was just me and June that day. And I had outlifted him by 10 pounds that day. He did 205. I did 215. So anyway, I'm down in the basement working. And I already know whenever I'm working out, it's just a matter of time. Because he was living with us at that time. I knew I was going to hear him walking down them steps. He always wanted to see what I was doing and keeping up with what I was doing. And true enough, I heard them feet coming down the steps as I'm working out. So anyway, keep in mind, I had just outmatched him by 10 pounds the day before. Um, he told me to put it on for him, let him get a warm-up on that clean and jerk again that he was just only able to do 205 the day before. I put it on too. Man, you ain't ready for that. Yeah, you ain't ready, man. Come on, you just got smashed. Put it on. Keep in mind, I did two fifteen. Right. Got his warm up. Told me put another forty five pound place on both sides. Now you didn't got your warm up. Ain't that good enough? <laughs> I put that two and a quarter on there. Albert, you remember, uh, no no disrespect, but it was all humor back in the day about splitting your bobos. I do, I do, I'm going to be calling Channel 12 on this one. I said, man, you ain't got this. This is going to be a real bobo call, right? That is warm up. Mm. Looking just like that again. Come on. No. When he got it right here, I'm looking. I said, no, nah, man, ain't no way. Ain't no way. Came on. Mm. Two and a quarter. Yeah. Alfred, you know what a 20 pound jump yeah. in one day is, bro. Yeah. Incredible. Yeah. Put it down. <laughs> I knew I was gonna have to hear that for the love. Now keep in mind, I was asking him earlier about breakfast, but he wanted to drink. So now he didn't get two in the quarter. So now he come to me. Hey brother. Can I get some cheese in my age? <laughs> so I knew I was going to hear that from you. And you know what? I had to hear it for another month. Last thing, and I'm gone. 
about the money situation. Um, and yeah, we used to have a lot of talks. Life, family, problems, politics, it don't matter. We talked about it all. And at the end of every conversation, I love you, man. Uh, no, he started off at a couple. Uh, anybody remember what his favorite word was? Anybody? Let, let, let me hold. Right. Let me hold. So he started off with $2. Okay, I give him $2. So after a while, I'm just saying, I got used to whenever I was around him, he going to ask me for some money. I already know it's coming. So you know what? I'm going to make sure I have at least five dollars. So anyway, end of our conversation. I'm out of here, June. I love you, man. I see you, man. And before he can even ask, here you go. So you ain't even got to ask me if you can hold it. I'm going to give you a two. So started giving me five dollars without him even asking. Last time I seen him, man, last time I seen him, he uh, came again, done with our conversation. Um, I got ready to give him a five, uh, and he looked at the five. He said, 10 will be better. <laughs> I said, so $5 ain't good enough for him? I said, would you? take 10 and commit a sin. <laughs> so I'm thinking, he ain't got no comeback for that. Would you take 10 and commit a sin? Since you like to rhyme all the time. I got him now. I got him. I know he ain't got no comeback for that. He said, I'll tell you what, yeah, no, I, I wouldn't take 10 and sin. He, he said, but I'll take 11 and we can go to heaven. <laughs> That was so good, I'm going to give you an extra dollar for that one. But yeah, that was uh, my guy, uh, memory. You see how we laughing right now? I'm telling y'all, that's what he bought. That's what I'm always cherish and remember him for. Uh, I love him and uh, I'm going to miss him. But the memories, I'm telling y'all, until they put me in there. You know, the memories, the laughter that he brought to my life. And I'm looking at how y'all laughing now. You know what I'm saying? But that's the effect that my brother you know, brought to me in my life. And um, I miss it, you know, but the memories will last forever. She was my cousin also, and I'm the youngest of that Anderson crew. Um, I remember one time I was here and he was like, oh, cuz, you a 10. And I was like, okay, yeah. And um, then the common thread is that $2, because then he said, hey, let me, uh, next time I see him, he said, let me hold that $2. I'm like, I ain't, I ain't got $2 yeah. in cash. And uh, and then later on that day, he said, look like he picked up some weight. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about a five now. <laughs> uh, but on the serious side, I just want to say I am blessed to be his cousin. I am blessed to be related to you guys in some type of way. And um, lean on God. Lean on God for comfort. Lean on God for your salvation. And, and vote. Vote. Right. Vote. That's right. That's right. That's right. <laughs> have one more sister and I just wanted you know due to this slate of time we're gonna have to maneuver the time because we do not want to infray any more calls. Okay. Amen somebody yeah. and you probably will know the ones that are not in charge of putting this together. We don't want to put more finances on them. Amen. Yeah. Good morning. Good morning. I'm Sarah. Sarah. I'm Julia's wife. Uh -huh. And I just want to tell the joke about the chin show. <laughs> One night, me and Al went out, and this girl was in this restaurant, and she thought she was looking good, and her man was telling her how good she was looking, and the guy knew Al, and he was like, yeah, man, she's looking good, and Al said, yeah, 
she looking good, but you could have bought her for real because right now she wearing a chinchilla. <laughs> <laughs> and that was funny. Let's give God a hand clap of praise. I'm looking for that hand clap of praise to be a little louder than you like. Let us bow. Jesus, Mary's baby. Despite it all, we love you. Thank you for coming on this earth to die, taking it to the cross, laying in a borrowed tomb. On the third day, you got up. You said, I got power, heaven and earth, in the palm of my hand. And you said, whosoever will, let him come. Let us keep you in our minds and our hearts because you make the difference in our life. In Jesus' name we pray, let us all say amen. 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 Just for a few minutes, and I want to make sure I won't hold you long and don't hold you long the next time you see me, amen. amen. There's a time in our lives that no matter what we do, we all gotta give an account amen. to God. Amen. Some of us may not hear God directly, which he talks to all of us if he created you. Sometimes God speaks to us through other individuals. Sometimes we go through hardships in life and we ask God to give us another chance. No matter what state that you're in, and if you call on Jesus, won't he make a difference in your life? Yes. 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 Have you been there for somebody in here? Right. Somebody say, get out of here. I'm going to give you three points. I'm going to give you a series of scriptures that you can read, and I'm going to give you something that you can. Have a nugget on it, and then we're going to move forward with the celebration. Amen. Amen. Hebrews chapter 9, verse 27 says, It's the point unto men wants to die. But we all must go before judgment. All of us are going to have a court day in heaven. Amen. There's going to be an up and a down situation. They're going to remind you of a casino slot machine. If that handle goes down, and there's an opening that's in the floor. There's only two places you're going to live. You're going to live in heaven forever or hell. A lot of people don't want to talk about that. I don't know why we don't talk about that a lot in our church. I don't know. Maybe it's because of the tithe. Maybe because of the offering. But everything, God gives it to you. And if you don't speak the truth, it's going to come back on you. All of us got to give an account for what we have done. Man is not your Jesus. God is your God. Yes. But if you come to him correct, yes. he'll restore you correctly. Yes, it will. Because whatever done in the dark will come. Yes. Numbers 32, 23, the last time I gave it out to them, they played that in the number. But number 32, 23 said, your sins will find you out. <clears throat> so no matter what you do, you know who God is. Yes. And I come by to let you know, get to know his voice. Yes. Just like you know mamas and daddies, what we got to get to know Jesus' voice. Second Corinthians chapter 5, verse 10 says, just before I give you the title, because I'm going to give you the last verse and we'll be done. We must all appear before the, judge, before the judgment seat of Christ, that everyone may receive the things that he has done in this body. I want to let you know, as long as you're in the flesh, you will make a mistake. Is that according to what he has done, whether it be good or evil, you all, Adam, messed up. Anybody that came after Adam will mess up. But God died for our sin. You can't go through life saying, God knows my heart. Yes, he knows your heart. That's coming. He ain't going to bless you because he you know your heart. <laughs> a lot of people say that. You can cuss everybody out. You can come in church shouting. You ain't shouting because the Holy Ghost. You shouting because you're drunk. <laughs> and you say, God knows your heart. But how many of you know you got to give an account to God with your heart? Amen. Amen. The title of this remark says, we will meet again. Yes, yes. Let me tell all y'all something for free. If you don't get to know Jesus, 
Yeah. This is yeah. the farthest you're going to get to Brother Taylor. Yeah. It's this program. Yeah. Yeah. If you want to hear another one of his jokes mm -hmm. in heaven. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, he might have some jokes about that golden streak. The golden <laughs> streak. Uh -huh. Them two wings. <laughs> I mean, he might have a couple of jokes for Jesus. I don't know. <laughs> But if you if you intended to meet him again, somebody say him again. Yeah. Yo, we got to get ourselves together. Yeah. That's why it's important to surround yourself with white kindred spirit. Because everybody ain't gonna make you happy all the time. Amen. We want to thank God for you. Yes, yeah. I don't know, but some of y'all set the tone like I already knew. But I want to let you know it's his spirit. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. That must go on. That's right. That's right. You ain't gonna get along with everybody. And if you do, you better watch out for them too. Amen. Amen. But every day is a brand new day. Yes, it is. And when you wake up every day, thank God for you to open up your eyes. Yes, Amen. Because I tell people all the time, I'd rather be broke and happy than rich and miserable. Amen. 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 I know COVID 19 will put a restriction. Yeah. On all of us, but yeah. don't have no virus against Jesus because we need right. it. Right. 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 How many of y'all know he's the best doctor you can yeah. ever have? Yeah. How many know he's the best lawyer you can ever have? Ain't he good, though? Ain't God good? I'm going to say this. I'm going to say this. I'm going to say this to you. Luke chapter 12, verse 40 says this Be therefore ready also. Yeah. For the Son. A man of God, he coming at an hour. Yeah. No man will know it. That's right. That's right. That's why it's important when you do somebody wrong. If you got Jesus, your conscience gonna bother you. Right. 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 Text messages just can't do it, y'all. That's, right. right. That's right. Facebook won't tell it all. That's right. That's right. The Bible says in Galatians chapter six, verse one, if you got an art against somebody. You go to them. That's right. Is if you don't, you go wind up being just like them. Amen. And two wrongs don't make it right. Amen. Somebody. Amen. Let me say this. A lot of people ain't gonna tell you this, but I'm gonna tell you this. There's only a couple ways you need to see Jesus. You got to admit and say, and you got to display and obey. Amen. Let me tell you something. You got to admit, admit it and say. Romans chapter 10, verse 9 and 10, it says, If thou wilt confess with thy mouth that's right, that's right. the Lord Jesus yes, yes. and believe yes. in your heart yes. that Christ was raised from the dead, yes. you know Jesus is better than Michael Jackson. Amen. 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 All of them was famous, but ain't nobody got up with Jesus. You got to admit and say that there was a spirit being by the name of Jesus. Yeah, amen. They took three nails, put one in his left hand, his right hand, crossed his feet, put the third nail. Yeah. Y'all, they didn't break no bones because ain't no bones in a spirit. That's right. You got to believe he was in a borrowed tomb, man. Keep that word out, borrowed. He asked another man for your tomb. That means somebody coming back. Amen. On the third day, he got up. We call that Easter Sunday morning. Yo. He got up. And you got to display and obey. First Peter chapter 3, verse 13, it says, And who is he that would harm you if you be followed that which is good? Jesus is the only one that can make you happy. Amen. Amen. Jesus is the only one that if you ask him for forgiveness, he'll pass it to a seat. Mm. Mm. Folk is the one that said, I forgive, but we got a lot of folk don't forget. Mm. I come and let you know, you'll meet him again. Amen. If he got Jesus and you got Jesus, mm. that's enough. That's right. It'll always be howdy, howdy. No more good. You'll meet him again. That's right. That's right. I pray that the legacy of Brother Taylor continues. Yes, yes. <clears throat> In Jesus' name, I yeah, pray. Yeah. Give God a
as administration prepared to come, I love to do this a lot, you all, because I believe when we're in church, you don't have to be that long. Amen. If you try to tell it all, ain't nobody gonna read their Bible. <laughs> you gotta tell it like Jesus wants. So our actions start speaking louder than our words. Amen. Amen. So as they prepare to come, if someone wants to grab uh, the administration, so we can do the committal. But I'll explain how the committal works. You all do know, due to the COVID nineteen, we do what we do here that we would normally do at the grave site. Amen. The committal actually is saying, God, thank you. I don't know if you all know this, and you do know this, is that when Adam was formed, he was formed out of dirt. Mm -hmm. Jesus breathed into his nostril. That's the spirit. Everything we have is on loan. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Even if it was about $2. <laughs> <laughs> let, 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 me, let me say this to you. What Jesus made, it belongs to him. Amen. Yes, Jesus is in heaven. When a person dies, their body has to go back to the earth because that's where they came from, the earth. Jesus came from heaven, breathed his spirit in you. So when your dirt go back, guess where you got to go? Give God some praise. Y'all got to. So that's why I said there's no, please don't get mad at Jesus. He ain't going to make you do anything. So if you don't want him, he'll say, okay, keep your spirit, but I don't want the spirit you got. You go to hell. Right. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Mm -hmm. But if you love him, he said, in order for me to give back what I gave you, you got to give back where right. you came from. Amen. If you're saved, once you pass away, you're not dead, you sleep. That's right. Amen. Amen. The Bible says, Absent from the body. Come on, y'all can know this. It means you're present with the Lord. So that breath you got, don't misuse it. Somebody might say, well, Pastor, uh, uh, well, I cuss 50 times a day. When God talks to you, you cussing 40, you better be thankful. <laughs> Somebody don't hear me. Every time God do something for you, tell him thank you. Amen, Amen. Amen somebody. Amen. You do something for anybody, and you probably, they probably got enough money to pay you back, ain't got no place to stay, but at least they can tell you. Thank, thank you. you. Amen, Amen, somebody. Amen. Amen. I can't do this committal the correct way until they come because the Bible says in 1 Corinthians chapter 14, verse 1, that all things be done. Amen. Oh, I got the story. Amen, somebody. Yes. Amen. Amen. They mentioned to me a couple weeks ago, they say, Pastor Pettigrew, you do church just like a drive through I said, but if it's the right word, you just get to it. For you all that want to hear it, you're on Facebook Live and YouTube every Sunday. Somebody get the administration and let them know that we are ready for this. Now, um, it was your permission, I believe, to someone wanted to keep the cast open the whole time. Amen. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm going to have to just, if you, I, I need to talk with her to make sure the one that's in charge will make sure we. I'm sorry. Is it your wish to, to keep it like it is, or you? I want to make sure. We want to make sure that administration hear what you're saying. I make how it makes a difference on how I'm going to do this committal. Okay. And as you come forth, please don't forget the, the emphasis. We will meet again. Amen. 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 Somebody. Amen. I'm in the saved, sanctified, filled with the Holy Ghost. Folk, I got in here now, y'all. Y'all know. All right. We know God makes no mistakes. Amen.
just like you came, you did your remarks, and some went short, some went long. Continue with their legacy, amen? amen? Amen. Keep smiling with the Spirit of God in your heart. Let us say amen. Amen. In late term, as they're preparing for the last stage here, is that committal and basically saying, God, we thank you for the time. Brother Taylor, amen. 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 Somebody? Amen. This is also the time that those that know Jesus make sure you are around when they feel weak, because he's the author and the finisher of our faith. Amen. Amen. And keep in mind, as I mentioned to you all earlier, there is a time and a place that we all will see each other sun up to sun down. Amen? Amen. But you've got to have Jesus in your life. Amen? Amen. Amen. Make no mistake about it now, y'all. Some people say, I'll see you on the other side. So you got to have Jesus get to the other side. Amen? Amen? All right, now. Say it. Grave sight committal. For as much as please Almighty God in His wise providence to take out of this world the soul of our deceased brother, we therefore commit his body to the ground, earth to earth, ashes to ashes, dust to dust. Looking for the general resurrection, the last day of the life of the world to come. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, as whose second coming, glorious majesty, to judge the world. The earth and the sea shall give up their dead, and the corruptible bodies of those who sleep in him shall be changed and made like unto his glorious body. According to the mighty working word, he is able to subdue all things unto himself. Amen? Amen. I heard a voice from heaven saying unto me, Write from his force, blessed are the dead who die in the Lord. Even so said the Spirit, for they rest from their labors. Let us bow. Jesus, we love you. Thank you for the life and the legacy of Brother Taylor. Thank you for who you are. Make no mistake about it. You don't make a mistake. You extend your hand out to all of us. Build us up before we're torn down. Surround us with spirits. That are whispering in the ear, just like you said, the angel that is going to be. All right. Now to him that is able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy. To the only wise God, hallelujah, our Savior, be glory and majesty, dominion and power, both now and ever. Let us all say, Amen. give God some praise and show. Can I get four ladies to be flower bearers, please? Four ladies to be flower bearers. <coughs> One more young lady. Can I have the flower bearers, please? All the flower bearers. Everyone, right? Let us say, 